So this week we are doing KFC again and it's the Zinger Stacker Meal. So maybe too much, but obviously we'll see in a second. So on to the review. So this is kind of a little bit more of, of obviously kind of unboxing. Um, to start with, I thought, let's just go back to KFC. Um, someone suggested that, you know, let, let's try KFC again. And I don't think I've ever had a Zinger Stacker meal um, or multi point burger. So two Zinger fillets topped with two slices of cheese, supercharger and sweet chili sauce, plus regular signature fries and a drink. And on top of that, I had um, two hot wings and as you can see there, popcorn chicken. Um, the last place, uh, sorry, the last burger I had from this place was the Christmas one, I believe. And it was the stuffing stacker. So it was one fillet plus the um, stuffing kind of burger almost. Um, the, kit, the signature fries, I don't know whether they're getting slightly better, but they, they tasted a lot better. I think they're just warmer and then obviously got delivered a little bit faster. So just eat slightly better this week in terms of um, delivery. Um, still not all that, but you know, they're, they're better than what they used to be, let's say. I um, thought I'd just add in there a little timeline of um, KFC's history, which I don't think I've done before. Um, I think it's always interesting to see, you know, how long these places have been going. So, um, popcorn chicken, pff, I don't know what's happened to it, but I think it just sat there for too long, or, or I mean, you can see there, it's almost kind of like where it's, yeah, sat there too long, and uh, kind of dried out a little bit. <clears throat> so, popcorn chicken wasn't really all that, although I do like popcorn chicken. Um, yeah, I'd, I've split the rating up this week into each individual piece rather than just one overall rating, which you'll see at the end. Um, so, the hot wings. Now, last week I said about hot wings and or wings in general. Uh, they were similar to these. That It's like, I mean, even the coating is kind of slightly missing, which is slightly better for KFC because there's less coating. But the chicken itself, they need to be getting in the gym. They, I don't understand where the meat is. It's just almost non-existent. Um, now, on top of that, okay, they weren't broken bones, but they get. I think they're getting worse. And we move on to the Philip Burger and, uh, sorry, Stacker Burger. So, I don't usually have burgers from chicken places. I mean, you can see there straight away, a little bit of sweet chili sauce maybe, and obviously cheese on top, cheese in the middle. Barely any supercharger sauce, and if you can call that lettuce on the bottom, then fair enough, but I really can't. Um, it's again like people are just, yeah, I know it's a fast food place, I get this, say it every time. It's not gourmet, but at the same time, the prices, as you can see there, you may as well say a gourmet. Um, that doesn't look anything like the picture from my point of view. Like the fillets, I know a chicken isn't necessarily designed to have the perfect fillets, I get that. But it was just passable, like it was a nice burger. And the flavours were nice. The zinger, you know, kind of the hot um, side of the zinger burgers was nice. But it's that's about it. Like, they need to just put more effort into building the burger properly and putting the right amount of sauce on and putting everything in order, putting the amount of lettuce that you should. So this week, I've split up into slightly different with the individual ratings. Um, six and a half burger, seven out of ten fries, seven and a half popcorn, and five out of ten wings. That's the most I'm going to give for each. I don't know whether I'm going to carry on individually, but I appreciate all the subscriptions, the likes, and comment, please, and share.